Get this, we're delving into a surprising twist in the world of augmented reality today. A giant falls. It's the Hear the Web podcast with your hosts, Tom and Lily. Yep. Social media giant Snap Inc., known as the creator of Snapchat, has decided to pull the plug on a major division they launched only a few short months ago. Can you guess what it was, Tom? One would guess it had to do with dog face filters, but actually, it was their foray into the enterprise arena of augmented reality, the very promising AR Enterprise Services, aka Airs. It sure sounded promising. However, it seems the division failed to gain traction. CEO Evan Spiegel confirmed they need significant additional investment to grow this enterprise offering, something they can't afford currently. Right. The economic climate has been tough for ad-dependent companies particularly those that got trapped by inflation, leading to weaker ad spending. These businesses need to focus on their core, and for Snap, that's digital advertising. Speaking of advertising, it's also noteworthy that last year Snap made a move to restructure its advertising sales unit, closing some projects, including mobile games, cutting 20% of staff, a drastic shift in trajectory. Necessary measures in tough times, Lily. Snap's CEO underscored the necessity of these measures in light of the explosion of generative artificial intelligence, which made it difficult for them to prove unique value in the AR technology market. Absolutely. They had a unique selling point with customers being able to use AR technology on their sites, but companies are now creating their own experiences, making it harder to stand out. Now with this latest announcement of shutting down Ares, it's about 170 more job cuts. Yet another sign for Snap's listeners of how the business has been battling against challenging economic tides since last year. Clearly, 2020 has been one bumpy roller coaster ride for Snap. And this recent navigation away from augmented reality, a highly promising field, certainly stirs up questions. Could this signify a slowdown in the growth of AR technology? Or perhaps it's just a specific issue about trying to navigate an enterprise-focused business model in a world thrown off balance by the global pandemic. Well, it's certainly something for us all to keep an eye on. As innovative technologies like AR permeate the business landscape, finding the right approach to harness their potential is paramount. But perhaps just as crucial is to know when to say, this isn't working. And that's something Snap seems to have recognized here. Exactly, Lily. And while this is a setback for Snap, it's also a harsh reminder of how companies need to stay agile and adaptable in an ever-evolving world of technology and economy. We'll wrap up there, folks. We've explored today's surprising news of Snap closing its short-lived AR division for enterprises, and what it might mean for their future, and maybe for AR technology at large. On our next episode of Hear the Web, we'll be diving into more tech developments happening around the globe. Until then, this is Tom. And Lily signing off. Stay curious, folks.